What's up everybody, how's it going? Welcome to the Minute Channel, another Shin Megami Intensive video today. Uh, As so you may or may not know, today uh, Atlas uh, had all the publications, you know, the big media uh, dropped their reviews for Shin Megami Tensei 5 today and we have a mixed reception here. Uh, first of all, this uh, overall did pretty good as in Metacritic, uh, there is an 87 out of uh, 100 score which is Frankly, pretty good. If you think about it, most games don't even get reached to an 80. Uh, so an 87 is in the high Bs, you know, in, in the high numbers. So uh, that's pretty good. As far, as far as the comments and reviews, I read a lot of them. There's a mixed batch of comments here. Uh, some good, some bad. And I think this needs to be addressed in a separate video. Um, major... A con uh, controversy, of course, with Shin Megami Tensei and Persona 5. Being a lot of reviewers of like to mention Persona 5, and only like to mention Persona 5, but really do a, a talk a lot about Persona 5, as if Persona 5 is kind of like the benchmark as to how they're judging this game. Uh, personally, I don't think it's a fair comparison. Shin Megami Tensei and Persona are fairly different series, although they are do branch from uh, each other. Um, they are still fairly different, and a lot of the comments seem to be the notion that Somehow, uh, because Shin Megami Tensei 5 is missing some features from Persona 5, is not a good game per se, or is missing features. Now, personally, these features are not missing from, uh, from Shin Megami Tensei. It is just not a Persona game. And, and obviously, as Shin Megami Tensei fans know, uh, those features are just never been in the game, and they are not needed in the game. They are not a game that need the dating sim features or uh, the character driven interactions so that kind of stuff so as you can tell uh, a lot of the, the publications have talked about hey it's missing these features or it's doing this or it's doing that and it's not necessarily that the case is just Shin Megami Tensei 5 is a very Shin Megami Tensei game you know it's a hard game and um, pretty much things like that of that nature you know people have talked about the difficulty of the game or the archaic way that they do storytelling in the game um, which is not as direct as in Persona or the fact that the characters are not characters that you interact with them 24-7 is another thing. So overall, uh, from what I heard, it's still very positive. Shin Megami Tensei 5 seems to be a good Shin Megami Tensei game doing what Shin Megami Tensei does good, which is, again, um, the combat, the uh, exploration of the game, that kind of stuff, and everything that I read so far on the reviews seems to pretty much mark that it is a great game and it does what Shin Megami Tensei games do best at which is that so very happy for that again uh, it is a mixed batch of reviews but overall very very positive a lot of hundreds a lot of 90s uh and of course you have your your bad apples and your ign scores and everything like that so of course you're gonna get a, a mix about uh but overall i'm pretty happy with the reviews i think that is pretty much what i expected in fact a few weeks ago i was joking with my buddies about <laughs> looking at those reviews with persona taglines and everything we saw that coming of course with the um polygon article from last week that i discussed with you guys here on the channel so um not much of a surprise there still pretty happy with the score still pretty happy with that and of course we want to hear your thoughts did you believe that shin megami tensei reviews need to be mentioned persona or persona 5 particularly i understand there is a big population of persona fans that are interested on to shin megami tensei 5 i want to hear the experience of a shin megami tensei uh persona fan you know hey as a persona fan is this a good game for me and i think that's a, that's a fair point that's something to consider here i personally think if you're a persona fan and if you like combat of persona or you know the shin megami tensei combat or everything you will definitely enjoy shin megami tensei 5 there's a lot of the same stuff and everything but at the same time you should be aware there's no dating sim there's no character interaction of like the social uh, type um the story is told in a very different manner and uh there is more of a focus on dungeon crawling and exploration and looking at the environment is very uh post-apocalyptic and that kind of stuff of course you've seen the videos and, and the trailers and everything so uh but what you see is pretty much what you get there anyway thank you so much for watching this guys like and subscribe if you haven't already as we move forward to shin megami tensei 5 coming up in a few weeks I will be working really hard to get my review out on time so you guys can decide or, or at least just get my opinion.
opinion on this game. Thank you so much for watching this, guys. Like and subscribe again. And, uh, comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about these reviews, if you have seen them already. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.